I upgraded about a year ago from my brother machine to a Bernina. So today I'm going to share with you all of the things that I love and hate about my new Bernina machine. This is a thread started by my very good sewing friend, Michelle, over at Michelle Sews Again. And well, we're gonna go ahead and just jump right on into this. So let me just start with the number one reason why I actually decided to make the switch over to Bernina. And that is the puncture strength. I was sick and tired of hitting really thick seams on my brother machine and not being able to just like get over the hump. And even if I did, I would end up with a lot of thread nests down at the bottom of it. It was just a horrible experience. And I started my new business, Inspired Leather, and started making bags. It became a really big issue because it was just impossible to sew a bag on my brother machine. So I actually took some leather strips and went over to my local Bernina dealer and tested all of their machines and they all pretty much sewed through them like butter they would sew easily through four five six pieces of leather so I, right then and there I knew I was gonna get a Bernina and I did I got this Bernina 535 now I'm not gonna lie it's expensive in fact it's so expensive that I had to finance the machine and luckily they have like all these like zero percent financing for like ever and that's what I did. <laughs> so I'm still making monthly payments on my machine. I definitely don't like that. The other thing that I really like about my machine is that it has these really big bobbins. You all, I mean these bobbins are twice the size of a regular bobbin. They're pretty, they're pretty amazing. And you know what that means? You can sew longer <laughs> without having to run out of bobbin thread. But on the downside of this, I no longer have a drop in bobbin, so I can't see when I'm running out of thread. So, eh, pros and cons. I mean, if I'm honest, even with the drop in, I would find myself running out of thread because I wasn't paying attention to it because my fabric was on top of it while I was sewing. Um, so I, I, I'd take the bigger bobbin all day long. Now the problem with that is that they're super expensive, you all. You get a container like this of five bobbins and they're like an insane amount of money, which is the reason why I only have five bobbins. The problem that I run into is that when I was sewing my leather bags on the Bernina, they took a heavier weight of thread. So I have three different bobbins with the three different colors that I was using the most often with that heavier weight and then only two for like a regular weight, which isn't enough, you all. I mean, I'm sewing all the time and I sew lots of different colors. So what I found I ended up doing is I just don't switch out my bobbin thread. So everything has like purple bobbin thread or something at the bottom of it. And you know, honestly, I it, it is what it is. I, I don't care too much about the bobbin thread. I care a lot more about the public facing top thread. The other thing that I really like is that um, it is heavy. This machine is heavy and it doesn't bounce around nearly as much as my lighter brother machine did, which is definitely a plus, especially because when I'm making buttonholes on my brother machine, it would vibrate so much. The button would just like pop out of the little plastic bit for the one the one step button holder thing and I'd lose my button. <laughs> well, the Bernina 535 is a lot heavier and it doesn't have that little button slot that you put in. Um, actually, you just go to the screen, you type on the button hole maker and you can size your button up or down on the actual screen and then and then you don't have to lose a button. So since I've got in this machine, I haven't lost a button. I also like that there is an instruction manual on my actual machine. So if I'm curious about how I need to add a zipper to a garment, I can just click on the little zipper button and it's going to give me the instructions and tell me what kind of thread I need, which sewing machine foot I need. Yeah, I mean, it's really, really convenient. 
Now, while we're talking about feet, let me tell you all, the one thing that really freaking annoys me about my Bernina machine is that it takes a special type of foot. It has like this little cone that fits right into the hole at the top of your foot. And that means that all of the other wonderful, amazing snap-on feet that you boop and you just sew, yeah, that's not happening with the Bernina 535. Mm -mm. In fact, I have a vintage Bernina model and even that has different feet from this current Bernina 535. So I've just got a bunch of like mixed matched feet running around here everywhere. And yeah, it, it's a problem, you all. I really hate the fact that I have 50 million sewing machine feet floating around the house somewhere. And like two thirds of them don't fit the machine that I'm using at the time. And like everything else, they're super expensive. Uh, I bought a couple of special feet to add to my machine. The one is the walking foot, which I use all the time and is definitely worth the investment. And I also bought a ruffler, but both were over a hundred dollars. I, I mean, I, I would even venture to say that they were over 200. I, I don't know. And they're really hard to get. You have to find a dealer. And if your dealer doesn't have the machine feet that you want, like good luck, good luck getting and for my ruffle foot. I ended up calling two or three different machine dealers and then just happened to run into it somewhere like up north a couple of hours and saw that they had one and I snatched it up from them. So yeah, it's, um, these machine feet, they're a problem. And then the very last reason, which is kind of a funny reason why I decided to get this machine is because it has this little metal plate, like that little throat neck area. Yeah, well, that piece is metal compared to the plastic of my other one. And my other one looks really beat up. It does. And that's because I sew sequins and other like harsh materials. And as they're going over that area, they were scratching the heck out of my brother machine. So I don't have that problem with this one because it's metal and I just polish it up. You know, polish it. It looks good. And it has a built-in light feature, which comes on whenever I turn on the machine. And if I don't want it on and I want to be eco-friendly, I could just hit the little eco-friendly leaf button and it turns off the lights, it turns off the screen, it turns everything off. So you could just kind of work in the dark. Uh, I guess I'm not very eco-friendly though because, yeah, I, I, I like the lights. So if you're looking for a machine, absolutely, take a look at Bernina. They have some really amazing machines. They perform extremely well. My buttonholes have never looked better. It's just an amazing machine. On the downside though, it's like, it's super expensive and you're going, you're going to pay for all of those extra features as well as any extra feet that you might want. And because this is a sewing thread, I'm going to tag my good friend Agatha over in Agatha's Cottage, as well as Adam at Adam Sews, because I wanna hear all about their machines and what they like and don't. And by the way, if you've been wondering how you can sew knits without getting that really funky rippling effect at the hem, check out this video right over here.